Hey, welcome to Wildcat Power Gym. Come on inside. Hey guys, Wildcat Power Gym, you're standing in our shipping and receiving bay. As we continue to grow this entire facility, this side will be nothing but receiving and shipping. We've got some cool stuff coming. We've got racking that'll be going in. We've got a, uh, a barcode scanning system that will be second to none. We'll be able to track every bit and piece that comes in and out of this. Shipping coming in, receiving coming in, shipping going out. All happening right here to come within the next, well, the next time you see this video. Hey, the most important thing about any piece of equipment is being sure you have all the parts you need. What you're looking up here is our mezzanine. Our mezzanine is going to be completely set up to have every part, alternators, water pumps, uh, fan belts, filters, will all be up here ready to go. So when you call, we're out the door. So you saw a little bit about our shipping and receiving the, the parts that are coming in. In here is what we call the field. We're excited about the field. When we get in here, this is when stuff's going out the door. We come in here, we do all the badging, the stickery, quality control. Everything, all the updates are live in the field. Right now we got three units coming through the field and we love every minute of this. And here's the future. This is where our assembly is going to happen in this wide open facility. Assembly line four is going to sit over there, three here, two and one. Generators flowing in, going to the field and out the door to you. Hey, that's what Wildcat Power is all about. Now this is the best part. When you come to Wildcat, you come have a seat, we'll have some coffee. If you want something else, we'll go get something else, but we'll sit here and we'll talk about generators like it's hunting and fishing. We love generators. We love you guys. We want you to come see the same uh, crib experience that we just showed you. So come on anytime. You're welcome to come see us. Wildcat Power Gen, Wichita, Kansas. Hey, welcome to Wildcat Power Gen. Glad you could join us today. Listen, I'm joined by my beautiful wife, Monica. Uh, she's our CFO. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Wildcat, what makes us special, and really we're going to get into, you know, why today we called this event, and, and what we really wanted to do is give you a tour of the facility. You know, here at Wildcat, probably the most important word we have is transparency. And so, to follow that, we wanted to pull the curtains back and show our friends, you guys, exactly what's going on here. But before we get to going too far, got a few people I'd like to introduce. Okay guys, the first person I really want to introduce you to, and you've probably heard his name and you've wondered, man, is this guy a rock star or what? Absolutely, he's the Wildcat rock star, Sammy Hagar, in house. What's no. up, hey everybody. So hey Sammy, why don't we talk a little bit about Wildcat, our products. Okay, let's do it. So what we have here is a Renegade mat, right? Renegade it is. Hey, here at Wildcat, we like to give names to different types of generators. So you don't have to really think too hard. We talk about a Frontier, Renegade, Maverick, Roughneck, Sentinel. We've got all these different names, but each name is very specific to the product. This is our Renegade, and Renegade in our world means, number one, that it's a three-phase power unit. And it comes in an open skid. Those are the two, two primary uh, key factors. Open skid, three-phase power. But that's what we're looking at here today. Uh, Coloscar engine, we'll get a little bit more into these guys. I'm gonna tell you, class act, quality product, one of the best engine manufacturers I've ever seen. Coloscar engine, McAlty alternator, Eaton controls, we got actually a Setamac Coloscar branded controller. Everything you see here in-house from Wildcat, the Renegade 480 volt three phase. Ranchers, farmers, contractors, miners, I got a deal for you. This is the power unit from Arrow that works with Wildcat in partnership to put this out. Matt, tell us a little bit about it. 
Yeah, so, you know, Sammy hit on some of the applications. We actually call this the Arrow. And the reason, of course, is because it's got the A54E from Arrow. Now, guys, I don't know how much you know about engines, but this thing goes way back. This is an old Waukesha derivative that Arrow now uh, casts themselves. What we're most proud about here at Wildcat is American made. And there is not a more American company than Arrow Engine Company in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Come on, guys. Everybody in the oil field knows about Arrow. Here's the good thing. This block still cast in the United States. Hold on. Think about that for a second. A 100% U.S. made uh, product. Take that to the bank. Here's the next best thing. Look at this block. Oh my gosh, here. I don't know, you can't probably hear it, but this is a cast iron wet sleeve block. This thing is made to run, and more importantly, it's made for the oil field. It's made to run on good gas and bad gas. As a matter of fact, it holds an EPA certification to run off of uh, wellhead gas, natural gas, or propane. As long as that gas is between 700 BTU and 1600 BTU, she's certified. Hell, we've even got a catalyst to go with it. But it's the arrow from Wildcat. You only get it here. So come see us, guys. Listen, today we've got it with the PTO shaft. We've got it there for a couple different reasons. You know, uh, if you've got a pivot, you need to turn it. This thing will do it all day long. If you want to put a generator on it, we can do that too. Horsepower is about 74. You do the math, that's almost 50 kW prime power right here out of the arrow. A54E, you only get it at Wildcat Power. Guys, uh, I'm here with Matt and we've got an engine. I'd love to learn a little bit more about it. Looks like it's a Colossar. Matt, what can you tell me about it? Yeah, guys, so um, this is actually the uh, 4R810TA2 uh, uh, from Colossar. Uh, what's really great about this engine is it's, man, it's just, it's almost bulletproof. It's a pure cast iron block, comes out of India, Colossar uh, makes this, and, and probably the most exciting thing I can tell you about Colossar, uh, besides the fact that they're a fantastic organization, great people from top to bottom. You know, in India, the fuel isn't what we have here. You know, we all talk about number two diesel in, in the U.S., and that's pretty clean diesel. Kaloskar is an Indian company and they've made their bones in India and in India diesel is not always the best. Matter of fact, Kaloskar themselves recycles plastic and uses the plastic they, that they recycle as fuel to run their engines when they're testing. So they've got a lot of experience in running the, uh, you know, their engines and you know what, kicking butt the whole way through. They rule Indian market space. And, and so we're fortunate enough to be working with Colossar and, and being able to, to showcase this engine. It's an inline four, uh, 3.2 liter. It's just, I'm gonna tell you, it, it's bulletproof. Um, you know, we put this as a tier three stationary, but man, I wish we could run it prime because she's built to run. Um, you know, that's, that's the beauty of our series and, and here in a second we're going to move and show you what a roughneck is and, and you know when we build equipment here at, at Wildcat we build it in prime understanding we expect it to run now this is a tier three sand which means it's stationary right emergency stationary but you know if there was a big emergency that came out I can promise you that this engine is going to run the entire time it's needed you know, you can't say that for, for a lot of other engines, but I'm going to tell you this, the, the, the detail and the simplicity that Colossar's put into this is second to none. When you need the power the most, you've got to have an engine that can deliver. Colossar oh. does that. And this particular engine goes in our Roughneck and Sentinel series. Well, and that's just it, right? I mean, listen, this is a stationary, emergency stationary, but nobody talks about, hey, when we have an extended outage. We talk about, hey, we're going to lose power for eight hours or 12 hours, but what happens when we lose power for a week or two weeks, right? And that's really when you start to understand the quality of product that, that you bought. And so that's what we have here. We have an engine that, you know, 
when everything hits the fan, it's going to be here running. And that's what we love. And that's why, you know, that's why we're proud to put our name on, on this equipment and put it into our Roughneck package, which, hey, let's take a look at it. Let's do it. So, maybe a little bit hard to see. It's dark in here, but, you know, this is a 60KW. Um, and, and so it's essentially the same engine we just we were just looking at. It's the 4R810. Uh, it's it's another turbo version, um, but same setup. You know we're using a Colossal engine. We're using a Stanford alternator. You know and you know we can get into an argument about aluminum versus steel enclosures. I'm going to tell you, hands down, I'll take steel. And, and especially a powder coated steel that, that's, that's going to last for you know seven to ten years and the the manufacturing behind this is just is quality and Sam likes to see me do this and, and I want you guys to hear this you ready I, I don't know what else I can say I mean I could walk away right there and, and that be it this is a quality product it's rugged it's rigid you know, uh, we only do commercial grade, so yeah. and if, if this wouldn't have met our standards, we wouldn't put our three year, 5,000 hour warranty on it. So, this is commercial grade. This is this is where we play. This is why we do what we do. We don't cut corners. This is the one we love. So, you know, here, you know, at Wildcat, we talk a little bit about family names, and you know, we've got the Frontier, which is a, uh, a single phase unit 240 volt single phase we have the renegade which is a three phase you know lighter engine about you know 30 kw and below but once we step above that 30 kw range we get into this family and the families are, are two families there's the roughneck family and then there's the sentinel family the only difference between the roughneck and the sentinel is one's ul listed and one's not and you know that's really it we build the same unit to the same standards. We just put different names on them because, uh, you know, UL carries, well, it, it, it's, it's pricey, Sam, to build a UL unit. Yeah, and it's pricey, and in some parts of the bid spec world, it's required. It's so required. we give our customers an option. They can have the non-UL Roughneck, or they can have a Sentinel, which is UL listed. And we're pretty excited about that. So these, you know, Roughneck Sentinel lines come in uh, 30, 40, 60, and 100 in three phase application. Single phase, they come in 20, 30, uh, 50, and then we come in the 75 to 80 kW range. So, you know, we got a size to fit your need, anywhere from 5 to 100 kW. And I think, if it, you know, what's, what's most important and, and one of the things we pride ourselves on is we're not going to sell you a unit just to sell you a unit. Yes, we want the sell. More importantly, we want to know what your application is. We want to know what's going on because we want to make sure that we sell you the right piece of equipment for the right application. You know, the last thing we want to do is, is under, you know, underperform in an application. We want to overperform. And so the only way we can do that is to make sure that the equipment we're providing exceeds your expectations. Honestly, I think the thing to do is to come on down to Wichita. Yeah, come in, take a look at it, make up your own mind when you touch and feel the product. You'll be blown away. It, it's really the only way to, to understand. You know, I, I laugh sometimes. Uh, you know, we get outbid all the time. People go, man, you guys are high. Well, not really, you know, because we're, we're comparing apples to oranges. And when you come and touch and feel and see exactly what we're building and the quality we're putting out, you'll understand the, the price difference. So, you know, we're always open. Um, you know, we're here Monday through Friday, at least Saturday and Sunday if you need it. Uh, but we'd love to host you. Come on in, take a tour around, show you the facility, you know, go through our product lines, we can talk through the arrow, we can talk through the frontier and renegade, roughneck, sentinels. Get a little crazy, we might even sit down and talk some DC to you. But, you know, we, we welcome the opportunity for you to come in and see what's going on here at Wildcat. 
We're super excited, guys. We've, we've gone from an engine company to uh, a premier generating company. That's all there is to it. And you'll agree we're premier when you come see the product. So love to have you come to Wildcat Power Gym. Speaking of premier, Matt, I would love if you have some time to talk a little bit about the DC since you brought it up. I did bring it up, Sammy, and, and you know, guys, listen, that there's, there's a little smile that comes on my face when we start talking DC. You know, uh, in this world, as we, as we talk through, the, you know, the latest and greatest technologies, any tech magazine you read today, that tech magazine is talking about batteries. Batteries are getting better. Uh, they're everywhere. You know, we're going EV on the, on the cars. But, you know, most people are not really focusing on how we're going to charge those batteries. Now, I know you're saying, hey, we're talking about solar and wind and all of this. I get that. But how else are we going to charge? I mean, we're putting in all these EV charging stations all over the place. But, you know, what if? What happens if, if the grid falls, Sam? Well, I think most people don't really know how long some of these battery DC generators that they hear about can really last or what they're really going to power. Well, it may take care of grandma's medicine in that refrigerator for a couple hours. It may charge your cell phone, but that's not a true product that you can rely on when stuff really goes down. Yes, still, you know, the, the, real, the real essence here is the next product line, which is the Maverick, our DC product line. You know, we've taken a fresh look at generators and batteries. And what we decided to do was not worry about, you know, going through an inverter or, you know, rectifying an AC to DC. We decided that we were just going to focus on the battery itself. That's it. Because when it, everything does hit the fan, the most important thing is going to be the battery. And if we can keep that battery charged, then we're good. You know, if an inverter fails for some strange reason, EMPs or, you know, the aliens come flying by or whatever conspiracy theory you may have. But as long as those batteries are going, whether it's a lead acid or a lithium or nickel or, or a gel, we can keep those charged, then we're ahead of the game. And so what we came up with is the Maverick DC generator charger and so it's designed to just really only focus on the battery and make sure that that battery is healthy and so we have the capacity to program our generator to charge the battery just like a, a, a charge controller will do but do it with a reciprocating engine so whether it's a diesel engine or natural gas or propane we can take that engine we can make sure that that engine is giving the correct charge, whether it's a pulse charge, whether it's a you know square charge, whatever that battery needs, the voltage it needs at the right time. And that's what we're doing. It's funny, Sam, we, we were at some trade show and we were talking through it and, and we had come up with a good analogy. And, um, you know, we like to call it the airbag. It's the airbag system of the battery world. And, and what, what I mean by that is, you know, when we were growing up, the seat belt was your mom's arm. And you guys were all there, you're driving, mom hits the brake, the arm went out. And, uh, you know, that's how we all grew up. You know, I grew up in a, uh, my dad had an old cutlass and I slept up in the back window, flying down the road. It was great, you know, those days are gone. All of a sudden, here came the seatbelt, right? And seatbelt laws and tickets for getting seatbelts. And, you know, everybody wears a seatbelt today. Mm -hmm. Then the airbags. Then came the airbags. You know, the funny thing about airbags, though, is nobody talks about airbags anymore. There was a time when everybody talked about it and it was optional equipment. Mm -hmm. Today, it's standard equipment in all cars. We don't even think about it. But we're all thankful when the airbag deploys because it's that extra sense of security. Mm -hmm. You know, when you look at a, a DC system, you know, the DC system, the utility is your mom's arm. Always has been, right? Uh, the seat belt, 
it, you know, it's your backup generator. Maybe you've got an AC generator hooked up running through an inverter or your solar panels, what have you. You know, the airbag is the maverick DC because no matter what the generator does, the utility does, the solar, doesn't matter what any of those other things are gonna do, we're gonna be there to make sure that when everything else goes south, we're gonna be charging. And I think that's what the most important thing about the whole system is, is you know, we're the backup to the backup. That's correct. When the wind doesn't blow and the sun doesn't shine, Maverick will be there, ready to go. Maverick DC. Guys, listen. We've got a lot of exciting things coming to Wildcat Power. Things that, that we haven't even really talked about. You know, we got Tier 4 Mobile coming out later this year. That's going to be exciting. That's going to get you here. But, you know, we're only doing this because we have a passion for power generation. And it all comes down to transparency. We're here because at the heart of what we do, man, we just like to do it. And I don't know who you can who says that. Uh, you know, I get up in the morning going, what else am I going to do? <laughs> you know, we fight and fight and fight, but this is what we love to do. And we love to get you part of the Wildcat family. Listen, if you're thinking about becoming a dealer, if you want to become a dealer, if you want to talk about distribution, whatever it may be, we welcome you to come down here to Wichita. Monica and I would be honored to, to host you. You know, we'll, we'll show you around, we'll go to dinner, we'll go dancing, whatever comes up, you know. We love to have fun and we love to make new friends. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for friends to come in and help us build our dream. And that's what we're doing. We're chasing our dream. Here in America, we're selling American-made product right here in Wichita, Kansas. You know, here's the funniest thing about Wichita. And it's not the funniest thing, it's probably the most practical. When you talk about supply chain, there's not a more central location than Wichita, Kansas. We're halfway between Canada and the Gulf of Mexico, halfway between uh, New York and California. You cannot get more central. That's a strategic advantage for us, and we take advantage of that. You know what the second greatest thing about Wichita is? Uh, the wind? No. Oh. That's third. Okay. It's the people. You know, Wichita is the air capital of the world. I knew it had something to do with air. Okay. Air capital of the world. The, uh, the labor pool in Wichita, the, the people here are second to none. And man, are we proud to, to, to employ uh, you know, our team here. They're Wichita people. They're quality people. And we're looking for more. So if you're watching this video too, and you're looking for a place to come work, Guys, we're looking for quality people who want to chase the dream with us. Hey, there's opportunities here, whether it's a dealer, distributor, employment. We're here to grow, guys, and we want, to, want you to be part of our dream. So, hey, come visit us at Wildcat Power Gym. We'd love to see you.